Prodigal Steve returns to the darkest dungeon. How's it going, everybody? Last episode, we made a ton of money in the ruins. Uh, we actually spent a bunch of money, probably like 13,000 gold setting up, but we made 10,000 gold profit. So that feels really good. This week, we're heading back to the ruins. I thought about going for the Fulminating Prophet boss fight uh, to pick up another Legendary Bracer, but I'm just not happy with the level 4 party we would have, and I don't really want to mix level 3s in there just yet. I would rather have a level 4 team, since this is the second level 3 boss. I also thought about doing... I shouldn't have clicked on this, but that's fine. The Sodden Crew, but I don't really care for the Dark Tambourine at all. So instead, we're going to take this team back to the ruins to get another set of Brawler's Gloves. And some portraits, which are secondary. I mostly just want my Brawler's Gloves back. So obviously, how many, how many times do I have to beat this horse? It's well and truly dead. We know what I'm running on our Hellion. We're doing protection and heal received. The same setup that we had on our Man-at-Arms on our Houndmaster. Because I'm actually going to try and use Guard Dog this round. I thought that that was a very effective ability on the Man-at-Arms. So I want to try incorporating that in with our Houndmaster. We are going to have to upgrade that, but that's okay. We're bringing the Occultist with partly to level him up, because I actually do sort of want to bring an Occultist with against the Prophet, expressly for this ability. Minus 30% damage. Very excited about that. So we're doing dodge and debuff skill chance on our Occultist, largely from lack of anything else uh, in this slot. Then the Vestal is accuracy and party surprise reduction, just because we we're short on Vestal trinkets that I, I'm willing to use. We are going to have to upgrade some skills here. So it is going to be a little bit of an expensive journey. But that's fine. Uh, you need to unlock this and then upgrade it. That's 1600. But that's fine. Mortimer, you need to upgrade this. I don't think we need to go all the way up to... I don't know, maybe we do? Maybe like Hounds Rush and Guard Dog? Definitely want to fully upgrade our party heal. Definitely want to fully upgrade those two. Ooh. This Hellion does not have if it bleeds little disconcerting but acceptable I guess at least for now yeah that should be fine we definitely want that upgraded all the way and I guess we can upgrade he doesn't have like any buffs does he no I guess this? That's fine. How much is it going to be to upgrade our equipment? Oh, a ton of gold. Okay, well... If these are going to be boss characters, we might as well have them all at level 3. That's fine. Mortimer, no, you. I need to do, redo your skills. Weakening Curse, Weird Reconstruction, and then Vulnerability Hex, I guess? Actually, okay, hang on. There we go. Yeah, I want Sacrificial Stab number one, Weakening Curse number two, Vulnerability Hex number three, Weird Reconstruction number four. Only skills you know are equipped. Okay, fantastic. 
make sure this is the correct one. And inventory is going to be a little bit of a problem, but it's actually going to get better as we go. Because we're going to be getting rid of these things. Alright, so let's take two of those, three of those. Take like six of everything. Only four. Well, we probably only need like two holy water, honestly. Alright, so there's for camping. One, two, and then three hunger checks. There. Alright, that should be fine. Let's go ahead and embark here. <laughs> that was like 27,000 gold. Ooh. One step forward, two steps back. Can the defiled be consecrated? Okay. Can the fallen Just had to double check that I actually hit my recording hot hotkey. <laughs> Room battle. Oh man. Well, at least we can just do that kind of serpentine motion. Of course, it does skip these two hallways. So, and our our altars could be in those hallways. Say, there's no way we got lucky enough to get a quest location right off the bat, huh? Nope. Alright, so we know this is a battle. Might as well burn a torch. Lit, hope for some scouting and or surprise. Only the strength to follow it. No surprise. It doesn't necessarily preclude us from having uh, scouting, though. Alright, so if you could actually guard our vestal since she's marked... Your dodge should be fairly high. Yeah, 42. Okay. Beautiful. You know what? We could incurse the freaking marksman, would you? Reduce his damage. Oh, Mortality that doesn't in feel a single good. Strike. Okay, he is dead, so crumbles. that was sort of a wasted opportunity on the, the curse, but I would rather not give those units a chance to attack if I, or to do more damage than they strictly have to. Really hoping for a dodge there, but that's okay. Such a terrible assault. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that a lot. We want to heal on our... Houndmaster. This moves her forward one. It does... Oh, God. It does debuff her, unfortunately. Five to eight. Sure. Oh, it's so little damage compared to their HP. Six points of bleed damage. Not thrilled about that. What? Guard our health, would you? I probably should have guarded our Vestal because she is still marked. Oh, there we go. Yeah, his dodge is like actually through the roof. Um, are you not guarding anybody anymore? Very surprising to me. Oh, it only guards for one round. Okay. Oh, we can incurse this guy. This battle is taking far longer than I would expect. Just because I'm... I think... <clears throat> it's because I'm, I'm trying to get used to our brand new party members. Or party arrangement, rather. Because we're not using the Houndmaster in the way that I... To which I am accustomed... 9 to 17. Yeah. If we can kill him before he attacks, so much the better. We've got to get rid of this stress dealer, though. Already 60% stress. That's absolutely ridiculous. Just keep debuffing this guy. Mortimer, can you guard our Vestal, please? Alright, one fewer enemy to deal no with. Quarter. 
unfortunately, this, uh, this unit is in a rank that's a little difficult for this party to hit effectively. Guarding our most stressed unit. Okay, the there we go. Balls. We've made it through our first battle team. Blossoms. Definitely want that. Might as well do that. No, stop. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, get rid of that. Um. I want both of these things. Probably should have saved that. Also, it doesn't increase stress for... It doesn't <laughs> increase stress resist. Okay, oops. That's my bad. I guess we just toss this stuff for now. I mean, I'm gonna crack into this. Should not have cracked into that with our stressed out unit in retrospect. That's okay. Curio, Curio. Well, only one battle for the next two rooms. So that's not so bad. Ooh, definitely want the key, and I'll find room for that much gold. There, good enough. Probably should have saved one of those in case we encounter a way to reduce the stress. That's, that's struck. a misplay. A on blazing my part. star is born. I don't care about that. What in the world is this? I have never seen this unit before. I'm terrified of it. I'm gonna I'm gonna debuff it. Guarding our best. Oh, that actually hit. Not a fan of that. This is not the order they're, in, they're intended to be in. Hmm. Oh, I really hate that you can't hit that rank. Eradicated. That's fine, I guess. Uh, please heal our Houndmaster. Thank you. The fact that he only guards for one turn is a problem. It means his speed is vitally important. Like he needs to be the first unit moving every turn. Okay, well that wasn't so bad. Oh, yeah, I like that a lot. Also, he did six damage with a 37% damage debuff. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Oh, I already do not like this unit at all. There we go. Let's just get rid of broken. End of this battle. Move forward. Okay, definitely want as much gold as we can get. <sighs> the light, the promise of safety. I'm gonna take the onyx. Gonna gamble a little bit on that one. I would love to find a quest location. No scouting, unfortunately, but unsurprisingly. Okay, we can make this battle work. I really should sort these two back to their appropriate slots, but this is fine. Just weaken whichever one, it doesn't matter, I guess. They're gonna shuffle each other around anyway. Um, yeah, judge this thing. 19 HP. Alright. I, I wanna keep guarding our Vestal, basically to keep stress damage off of her. Ooh, I hate that. Injury. Palpable fear. 
See, it's only fair when my units crit. It's not fair when the enemies crit. Yeah, might as well debuff the one with more HP, huh? It's good. Um, man, her skills are in like a, the goofiest order. Gotta fix that. Kill this thing, please. Thank you. Keep guarding the best. If you would be ever so kind. I missed my jester already. Take care of that bleed. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, just keep debuffing, I think. I don't know. I'm so unaccustomed to this level of quests that aren't boss quests. Oh, I should have healed our... This bleed. That's a, that's a misplay on my part. Can you stop reducing my torch, though? Like, I do not appreciate that at all. And then you're just gonna dodge. Okay, that's fine. Gotta get rid of one of those corpses. We really have to redo her skills. Okay. Oh, she's not dead. Well, she is now. All right. Um. As victories mount, so food, too will resistance. Bandage. That is a ton of gold. Okay. Well. I guess goodbye, anti venom. I would like the crests as well. I think we just have to discard them, unfortunately. Gotta burn a torch there. Nope. Do not care about that thing. This isn't a... Excuse me? This isn't... Yeah, that's the Shambler's Altar. That's what I thought. At some point, we will fight the Shambler. But not now. We have this. Alright. That would have been real nice to get rid of our Vestal's stress, but we can always camp if we need to. Yeah, this thing terrifies me because he has uh, an attack that hits the entire party, so. Definitely want to debuff him as soon as is possible. Okay. Decimated. At least the stress dealer is now gone. That helps immensely. That pushes people as well? Oh, yeah. Okay. Not thrilled about that. How is that thing doing three damage to me? I find that a little suspicious. Also, that comes with a debuff? Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Guard the Hellion, since nobody's really throwing out stress anymore. Yep. Heal our occultist, although I guess he could technically heal himself. Nice. Um, how many turns? One more round? Okay. I think we get the guaranteed kill. Just get rid of that unit altogether. I want to keep protecting our Vestal, honestly, but this is fine. Just keep stacking stuff up, I guess. Reduce their damage as much as possible. Although eventually we are going to have to worry about killing that unit. Okay, keep shifting those two around. See if I care. Ooh, I care about that a lot. 
please do not do that much damage to one of my units ever again. You big jerk. Uh, yeah, heal our cultist, because he's in a, in a bad spot, comparatively. You are now deceased, and you should leave a corpse because you got critted. Beautiful. Yeah. Vestal's still super stressed out. Oh, that's so good. Cannot believe everybody dodged there. Yeah, just keep... Just keep debuffing this guy. Maybe we can kill him this turn? I was really hoping to kill him before he moved. Well, I think we just undid most of the damage that he dealt to us. And the battle is complete. Take it a little bit longer than these nightmarish we're creatures can to. be felled. They can be beaten. Oh. I think we need everything that's in our inventory. Unfortunately. Well, can't do anything about that. Ooh, and I just like punched my mic. Oh, and actually just no scouting. Fantastic. This could be treasure? Alright, well, it wasn't, but that's fine. Also, we're like real low on torches, I'm realizing. Which is more than a little bit of a problem. Finally got scouting. Quest location, quest location. Okay, well, we know where two of them are at least. That helps out a ton. Oh, Packs thank you. Laden with loot are often low on supplies. Hmm. I think we have to say no to the gold until we get rid of, like, until we get to this room, basically. Yeah, hunger is fine. Hang on. Of course. All right, well, that's fine. Oh, what in the world? No. I hate these things. I hate these things deeply. Can they be bled? They cannot, of course. that I needed that so bad okay well at least one of the gargoyles is dead Stupid Enchantress only focuses on our most stressed units. Also, no, please take two turns in a row. See if I see if I care. I think we gotta kill this thing. I would love it for my Vestal to get an opportunity to attack at any point. Well struck. Just that way uh, our Hellion doesn't completely die. That'd be super. 6 to 13, please. You can do this. You can't, apparently, hit anybody. You've done literally nothing this entire match. <sighs> and then our Vestal gets stunned. Because why wouldn't she? You've got to go. You're you're far too annoying. Yeah, that's 
that's gonna be bleed? No. Of course, three damage. Finally. All right. Everybody focus in on this guy. Just end him. Preferably before he attacks. Nope, of course not. At least he picked the most agile unit we have. Impressive. Finally, you were just saving up for that excessive overkill, huh? Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into okay. the mud. Um. Unfortunately, I don't think we can take any of this. Because we need everything else. There we go. Have a little bit more inventory space now. Iron Maiden, we... Do we have anti-venom? No, I got rid of it. Alright, who's our trap disarmer? Probably the... Yeah, the Houndmaster. What is your... I was hoping to see their chance of becoming virtuous, but that is apparently not a stat that is available here. A little confused. That's all right. Let's just keep moving. Five torches left. This is a room battle, I believe. No, it's just a quest location. This is the best news we've had all mission. Alright, well, we know there's no reason to go with those directions. Gotta figure our final quest locations all the way at the end. Okay, this could be worse. Yeah, I wasn't gonna kill, but that's alright. There we go. If only we were slightly faster. If only I didn't use so many trinkets at reduced speed. Like, I'm cognizant of why Remind my units don't move overconfidence before my enemies. And insidious killer. Okay, I gotta stop burning torches so quickly. Ooh, never mind. Just got ourselves some scouting. Room battle with Curio. I kind of want to just backtrack, honestly, to avoid that battle. Okay, do we go into the secret room, snuff the torch, open the chest, do our inventory stuff, Go fight this battle in the dark, get to this room, and then camp? I think maybe we do. Is it a good idea? Probably not, but I'm gonna try it. And now, the darkness right. holds the What do we got? Black as death. Ooh, we have Junia's head again. Definitely taking that. Definitely taking both of these. Then... I can't give her plus 20% stress right now. I just can't. treats because <laughs> let's face it we're not going to use them anyway because I'm an idiot All right, 
And we can always retreat from this battle if it's bad. Oh, it's real bad. Ooh, this was a bad idea. so much. Okay. Camp. A spark without kindling. Food. A goal without hope. Stress reduction. Wound care less important. Then... Getting our Vestal's stress down. Apparently she just doesn't have the ability to be stress reduced sometimes. Basically, I just, I don't want to lose a Vestal to... Um... A heart attack. There we go. Ah, uh, now hope we don't get... Uh, As the light we didn't! Purchase, okay. Spirits Life is good. And purpose is made clear. Well, now that I know how terrible that, uh, that battle is, I'm just going around it. I mean, of course, we could end up with another equally terrible battle spawning in behind us. Wealth okay, well, that could have been potentially terrible. Thankfully, it wasn't. The brave and the foolhardy alike. How many torches do we have? Three. That's not great, but it could be worse. Okay. Ooh, I'm glad I noticed how completely out of order our freaking party was. Okay. Well, at least this isn't, like, damaging our Vestal, despite her best wishes. Uh, <laughs> three of them. At least she didn't mess with that one. Okay. A little bit of stress relief. Have we been into this room? We have not. I think we go in anyway. We'll burn a torch before this room. Oh no, we gotta... really hoping for um the torch curio wow completely like lost my words there right, this battle isn't horrendous but it could be like a lot of stress that's all going to be targeted at our freaking vest Gotta die. Masterfully executed. Oh, Helen's doing so much damage. I love it. They're also doing a, a substantial amount of damage that I don't appreciate. At least our Vestal's still willing to heal people. 
that helps a ton. Guard our Vestal. Nope, you just won't be guarded. Fantastic. Um, I guess do damage then. Right, that's not ideal, but it's acceptable, I guess. See if my Hellion cares. Uh, I was really hoping this thing would, like, get critted and die, but... It is what it is. Our occultist could have sorted the problem out, but... You know, whatever. Hey! I don't know what that... Ooh! A damage buff? Oh, I appreciate that greatly. 18 to 36 damage with a 9.5% chance to crit. Life is good. Uh, okie doke. Not sure what you meant by that, but alright. Just go ahead and party heal. Okay. I disagree with what just occurred there. This bone rabble should not be doing nine freaking damage. A little ridiculous. Definitely want the crest this expedition and some gold. You success. know what? We got room for the busts. That, that buff is protect, I think. Okay, good. We could use that. All right. Uh, we're in a weird spot. We have one torch left. Please, let me find the altar in this a handsome reward for a task well performed. Path. Yeah, go ahead and eat, I guess. Burn a torch. Our last torch. No scouting, out of torches, hit a trap, but we dodged it. Okay, that's fine. Congratulations. Oh, jeez. That's bad. That, I should have known better. Okay, well that was terrifying. Um, yeah, yeah, we're just gonna go back to the Hamlet now. And we have Brawler's Gloves again, which, was it worth the cost of doing business? I mean, made 16,000 gold, probably took a loss, but I think it was still worth it. Do we have a level 4 Vestal now as well, or a, another level 4 Vestal? Probably not going to send you to gamble anyway, plus 15% damage in the Warrens is pretty good. Okay, fine with that. The silence in the Crypts. Okay, so more Ruins stuff. Alright, so you have no problems other than you are a stress eater. Let's send you here. Sort by stress, please. What about you? You can come here and pray, I guess. Gambler will only gamble, but you have an increased chance of losing money. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, you're going to the sanitarium, then. That's fine. Sort by level. Go ahead and unequip everything. And... You can get out of there. That is gonna do it for this episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. 
As always, feedback is welcome in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time.